Hey, how you doing? It's amazing how many times people find excuses as opposed to reasons. And traveling and working out and keeping a strict diet for a long period of time is one of those things that people just get a cop out going whenever they can. So how do you do it? How do you survive on the road, eat well, keep the plan, particularly in my situations, I'm eight weeks out, out from my first competition. I can't afford to be eating at the McDonald's or finding the excuses. I've got to keep the sodium down, all that sort of stuff. So how do we do it? Well, this is what I've done for this week. The first thing I did was I called ahead and got a fridge in my room. If you call ahead and tell them that you need a refrigerator, a little bar fridge to hold um, uh, medicines, etc., they will just put one in your room. Um, and I do have medicines I need to go in there. It, it's called you know chicken. I need to put them in. So I've got no cooking facilities in here at all, so I had to come up with something creative. So I went to the local Costco's. Got two packets of lettuce. All it is, it's got, you know, grand parmesan. It's got all that bits and pieces in there, a little bit of cheese and stuff, but you don't have to use the additives out of there. So I've got those from Costco's. i got, it's like a tabbouleh salad, it's, it, but it's made with like a, a couscous rice, a little bit of low, low GI carbs in there. It also mixes well in there. But here is the bomb. Costco's do this. It's chicken thighs. And there's 10 of them in there, which is basically five meals, which is one day's worth of food. Well, if I have eggs in the morning downstairs, it's one day's worth of food. So peel the skin off, the lettuce, a little bit of the, the couscous salad, and the whole thing comes in at around just under 350 calories. I brought some protein powder up with me, but I ran out. So to buy a, a tin of protein is going to cost me 50 bucks. Um, to keep on buying the shakes that I'm buying at the gym is costing me five to six bucks. And I got a box of these big old bad boys um, for $25 or $24. Now, there's 18 of them. If I drink two of them, it's 40 grams of protein. And the carbs on it, the sugars are two. So it's going to have four grams of sugar. And that's a little bit high than what I like. But, but considering I'm on the road, I'm at the end of my stay, I'm doing the level of cardio that I'm doing. I can afford to have these for a post-workout, uh, which is when I have my shakes is post-workout. So a little bit of sugars are actually going to do me quite good. So there's no reason why and my diet will come in way under what my calories are supposed to be, but my proteins will be up, my carbs will be down. I'll be boom where I need to be, which meant that tonight I could go out and have a little sashimi and a little sushi, just a touch of soy sauce, not much. It was thoroughly enjoyable, really enjoyed it. There is no reason why you can't find a reason to do something and not just an excuse. So just get creative. Think it through before you go. Make your decision before you get there on who's going to frame your world for you. And uh, if you allow someone else to frame your world for you, they'll always frame it too small.